Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to power up a Raspberry Pi without actually power cycling it or removing the power cable from the Raspberry Pi and reconnecting it. So this is going to require a breadboard, uh, two jumper wires, these are male to female jumper wires and a small tactile button which is a very cheap button. Yeah, here's the button. Okay, I'm going to connect the button first to the breadboard. Okay, button is on the breadboard now. And then I connect these two wires. These two wires are connected to two sides of the button and then I connect the black wire to ground on Raspberry Pi so I connect it to pin number 5 which is a ground I'm sorry it's not 5 it's 6 pin number 6 on Raspberry Pi which is ground and then this uh, white wire goes into pin number 5 which is GPIO3 on the Raspberry Pi it would work only on GPIO3, not any other pins. So we connect it to GPIO3, pin number 5 on Raspberry Pi. Here it's connected. Pressing the button while the Raspberry Pi is turned on will not do anything. Nothing happens. So I'm going to shut down the Pi. it's going for shutdown and then there you go the light blinks and Raspberry Pi is now shut down so normally I would need to remove the power cord and then replug it again to bring it up but then now I'm going to use the button here's the button I'm going to press the button and then Raspberry Pi will power up you can see the uh, green light here would come on I'm going to press it you saw the green light and then it is coming up so that's it with just a couple of jumper wires and a tactile button we could make a small button which would just pour up a raspberry pi without actually removing the cable thank you guys for watching